Hey, what's going on YouTube? Wow, that was aggressive. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about a really quick topic of Pro Mist filters. Now, what's so important about these clear glass filters? Before I go into what those filters actually do, I'm gonna talk about diffusion super quickly, and this is a prime example of that. So without this sheet right here, this light is extremely harsh, like really, really bad. You see those hard shadows over here and this really bright key light on my face. Oh my God! What this thin sheet is doing is that it's breaking up and softening up a lot of light so that the highlight roll off is nice and clean. Compared to when you're out in the harsh sunlight, there's a lot of hard shadows that could cut across your face or your client's face and it doesn't look good at all. So what this filter is doing is kind of sort of a form of diffusion. Pay attention to the rim of this light and the softness of my skin. So you see it right here, right now. And then I'm gonna slap this on. And now it's kind of halating or glowing around the light. And my skin looks a little bit softer. So Promus filters are responsible for that kind of filmic, dreamy kind of look. But they all come in different sizes and strengths. If you take a look at the examples that I'm throwing up on the screen right now. Here's a photo without a filter. Here's one with one eighth strength and here's one with one half strength. You can tell a subtle developing difference as the strength goes up. The details in my skin are actually reducing and there's a little bit of a glow outside of my white sweatshirt. Pretty much any highlights start to bloom. For me personally, the one eighth strength is awesome because the reduced contrast and the glowing is just right in that sweet spot compared to the one half strength where it's a very prominent effect. Some things to watch out for is when you start to use these promise filters when your subject is backlit. These type of filters do a great job of diffusing, but when there's a harsh light right behind your subject, it starts to pollute the entire frame. I took some backlit photos with a 1 8 strength filter and still like the light kind of bends around the subject's head and it pollutes the frame way too much that it kind of leaves you feeling like you got like gunk in your eyes or that you're trying to wipe your screen. And it just, it just doesn't look good in my personal opinion. My preferred way of using this is during golden hour when the subject is not backlit, but when they're front lit, pair that with some partly cloudy skies to make it nice, soft, golden light and then you smack on that Promis filter on your camera, mm, it is money making all day long. So go out and pick yourself up a pair of filters so you can start experimenting with the look. Polar Pro just dropped a couple in their Peter McKinnon line. Moment did so as well, so you should start doing your research because they all have their different subtleties. And that's all I have for you guys today. Hopefully you guys are having a fun time shooting and filming, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.